DeepSeek just dropped their V3.1 Terminus model and it's not just a name change. From smoother coding to smarter agents and a polished new UI. There's a lot going on here. Let's break down what's actually new and why it matters. Let's get started. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm really excited to share some fresh updates from DeepSeek. They've just launched the DeepSeek V3.1 Terminus model and there are quite a few enhancements that are worth talking about. First up, in their change log, they mentioned that both DeepSeek Chat and DeepSeek Reasoner have been upgraded to this new V3.1 Terminus model. Now what's interesting is that DeepSeek Chat represents the non-thinking mode, while DeepSeek Reasoner is what you'd call the thinking mode of the model. What's really great about this update is that it maintains all the original capabilities of the model while fixing some issues users have reported. For instance, there used to be a bit of mixing between Chinese and English. And sometimes you'd see those odd characters pop up. Well, that's all been sorted now. Additionally, there are improvements to the agent capabilities. Specifically, the code agent and the search agent are performing even better. And they've shared some impressive benchmarks. For example, the browser comp agent has searched from 30 to 38. And in simple QA, it's moved from 93 to 97. That's quite a leap. Improvements in SWE verified, bench verified, and terminal have been solid as well, which is truly fantastic. Now I've noticed some speculation about the Terminus name. They haven't explained much yet, but it could hint at some upcoming features, especially regarding the coding agent they mentioned. However, that's just my guess. If you're using the official endpoints, even if you're accessing them through something like Open Router, you should be experiencing these enhancements already. I personally was aware of some significant upgrades before this release, but now it feels even more reliable. Whether it's reasoning, tool calling or coding, everything seems to be working fantastically. If you are interested in trying it out as a coder, I recommend checking out Kylo Code. They even give you a free $25 credit to experiment with. It's as simple as heading to settings, selecting the official DeepSeek chat endpoint, choosing your provider, and you're all set. At this moment, coding is notably improved, tool calling feels robust, and it genuinely seems like a big step up from before. It's also intriguing that this model isn't available on Hugging Face yet. This makes me think it's more about backend upgrades, possibly system prompt adjustments or infrastructure updates, rather than being a completely new model. That said, the handling of longer context is noticeably better, particularly for tool calling. The pricing remains unchanged, which is good news. Essentially, this isn't a new model, just a refined one. The Terminus name could hint at something larger on the horizon, potentially a new feature or perhaps a tool. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, and have you checked out the new DeepSeek interface? The chat now looks quite different. Gone is the solid background. Instead, there's this lovely moody glow around the text box. Plus, they've introduced smoother animations for when it's thinking. Overall, it feels much more polished and responsive than the previous UI, which could be a bit buggy. Remember, you can try this model for free in DeepSeek's chat. While the reasoning mode is still a tad slow, considering the interface is free, it's hard to complain too much. Third-party support is likely to come soon. Once those weights are released, providers like Parasol, Hyperbolic, or Shoots will probably integrate it. I'll be testing it with agents to see just how much of a performance boost we're getting, especially since this release seems geared towards agentic advancements. And if we compare DeepSeek to other models like Sonnet, I'm happy to report that DeepSeek is not only keeping pace, but even outperforming them on certain benchmarks. The jump in browser comp and simple QA scores is quite impressive and the improvements are being seen across the board. So if you're someone who enjoys testing out new models as they come out, I highly recommend giving DeepSeek Terminus a go. Trying it is super simple, especially since you can access it for free in their chat interface. And let's not forget about the better handling of longer context now. If you've previously entered 
large prompts or blocks of code into DeepSeek, you might have noticed some slowdowns before. Well, Terminus has addressed that, allowing for smoother, longer sessions. A significant advantage for coding or research tasks. The updated UI is a nice touch as well. That modern look with the elegant glow around the text box feels much fresher. The animations are slick and overall, it feels much snappier and more fleshed out compared to the old version. And yes, I'm really enjoying it so far.